Aloha. Thanks for your consideration of the views expressed in this Think Tech commentary, which we are calling Trump's immunity argument is just another attempt to game the system. The subject we will cover is Trump's totally outrageous immunity argument, in which he is telling the federal courts that he is legally immune from prosecution for all crimes and all of the misdeeds he committed while he was in office. There is no legal support or historical precedent for any such claim. The problem is that he is throwing this argument on the wall to see if it sticks, and in any event, to delay all his proceedings and trials until after the election in November, and thus to game and undermine the rule of law and the justice system in this country, as he always tries to do. If you didn't know it, Trump has made it clear that if he is elected, he will use his presidential power to shut these proceedings down anyway. We should all be concerned that Trump will either win in the Supreme Court on this cockamamie argument or get them to delay ruling on it until after the election, thus playing directly into his delay strategy. There are many reasons to be concerned. Under Trump's argument, he as president could do virtually anything he wants, individually or through misuse of his powers and the abuse of the agencies and instrumentalities of the federal government. That would put him beyond the law, just where he wants to be. The decision he seeks would effectively destroy our constitutional government and our democracy. You won't like what happens. The resulting precedent would insulate Trump from any prosecution, even for the most heinous crimes and misdeeds, while he was or would be in office. This would include gross and criminal violations of federal and state law, even domestic assassinations of his media critics and political rivals, or shooting people on Fifth Avenue. This would be a giant step to empowering Trump as an untouchable autocrat. Surely, even our very right-wing Supreme Court would have to see that. Sadly, there is not much we can do. It's in the hands of the courts, and of course, ultimately, the Supreme Court. We should make it our business, however, to follow this case and to express our views on how it should go and how it does go. Unfortunately, it will be up to the Supreme Court to decide or delay the questions involved, and that in itself is pretty scary. Here's the takeaway. This is another critical test for the Supreme Court, which has already lost the confidence of much of the country, a test in which that court could again seriously undermine the Constitution and the rule of law. Thanks for your consideration of the views expressed in this Think Tech commentary, which we are calling Trump's immunity argument is just another attempt to game the system. Aloha.